All right, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to sort of my first uh, proper Resolve tutorial. So today we're just going to talk about this quick trick I taught myself uh, to soften up skin tones and highlights and get a nice sort of smooth highlight roll off, sort of a filmic look. So this is going to be a really important trick if you're trying to replicate, say, actual expired film stock or anything like that. So this is an actual roll of like 5.218, 5.219. I'm not sure which specific one I'd have to ask the guy I got it from. But you can see here there's a really nice sort of milky look to the skin tones and the highlights just across the entire image. So that's essentially what we're going to try and replicate today. And this effect I'm going to demonstrate is pretty similar to the clarity effect in Lightroom or Photoshop or anything like that. Uh, just in that if you move the clarity slider the opposite way, so it removes clarity from the image, you get sort of a haze over everything. And that could be desirable, could be not, depending on the look you want to go for. But uh, yeah. So I mean, I think there is actually a an effect already in Resolve that simulates that, and it's the midtone detail here. But again, that focuses on the midtones, and it's not as controllable as the this method I'm going to demonstrate now. So this is shot from the Three and a Half Walls Halloween special featuring my friend Austin here. And uh, this image is, you know, it's pretty good. It's well exposed. Austin's skin tones are where they should be on the waveform. And it's F-log, so we have plenty of room to just play around and get as much out of this image as we want. So you can see here, there's already, this image isn't the sharpest. I shot this on vintage lenses. Um, so what we're going to do is make it even less sharp. <laughs> just, uh, just really go at it. So I'll just do a very quick grade on this whole image real quick. Nothing too fancy, just kind of a basic S-curve. Try not to make things too bad. And then always, always, always label your nodes. And we'll add a little bit of saturation just across the whole image. Now, yeah, and that uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, it's not a grade that I would deliver to, to a client at all, uh, but for now, it's fine. So the first step, once we have the proper grade down, is to create a parallel node. And you can do that very quickly with Alt P. And that immediately sets up a parallel mixer uh, with two nodes here. And this one, we're just going to leave empty. We're not even going to touch it. Our main focus is going to be on this top node here. And we're just going to label that one Bloom. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is just select for the highlights if we can. And actually, what I really like doing is just setting this all the way to 100 and then setting the low soft all the way to 100. So it's a very nice smooth gradient across the entire image. Obviously, play around with this, see what you like, see what you don't like. Your footage is going to be different from my footage and your tastes are going to be different from my tastes. And more importantly, your client's tastes are going to be different from my client's tastes. So just really play around with this, get a feel for it. And then once you have that selected, just go to the blur tool here and just, there we go. So you can see almost immediately we have a nice bloom just across the entire image there. You can even, you know, go all the way to the max with it and go really subtle with it. Um, and if you don't like how strong it is, you can also just go to the key output here and just remove some of that. Just tone it down a little bit. And there we go. Yeah, so we have a nice sort of softening effect just in the skin tones there. You can see Austin's skin is very, very soft now. Um, so if you want to go for a beauty effect, this is a perfect sort of style for that. You can even see the, uh, the haze on his glasses there really gets even hazier. And also, there's a little bit more of a highlight roll-off on it too. So this is a very useful effect if you really want to get that highlight roll-off for a filmic look. And if you want to go the opposite way, you can even go here and just sharpen it. And it's not actually too visible because we still have our gain output set there. But if we set that to one and go here and actually sharpen things and add a little bit more clarity just to get uh, really really bring out those highlights there but it also you can see here if it's already really clipped it reduces that highlight roll off a little bit there so you can go up here and just kind of blur that out and there we go so yeah this is a trick I find myself using a lot in Resolve to sort of help add a little bit more highlight roll off when I can't just get that through curves. But uh, yeah, if you liked what you saw, feel free to like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.